Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a system to grow hydroponic cucumbers outside and we are going to use a five gallon bucket. So before we go and create the system, I wanna show you the one that I have already running and it is growing cucumbers and they're producing very nicely. So let's take a look. So here we have a cucumber plant grown in a five gallon bucket and we're using a solar power uh, air pump and you can see we have cucumbers here and we're going to have lots and lots of cucumbers you see that all those are cucumbers so as they climb each node you're gonna get a cucumber so uh, a very good amount and here is my unit this one here I'm using a six inch net cup but uh, the one we're going to create, we're using a one, uh, two inch net cup. So it's gonna be a little different. So here's my pump. And the pump goes here, attached to this solar power unit. And when the sun comes up, it'll power and pump air into the system. But this also has a backup battery that will run for a few hours after the sun is out. So right now the sun is not shining on it, but we are still getting a little bit air right there inside. Uh, need to refill this very soon, but let's go ahead and create our new system. Okay, what we're going to need is a five gallon bucket. Right here. And you can get this from Home Depot and also get a lid along with that that would go on top like that and then we will need 51 millimeter hole saw and we're gonna drill a hole right here in the center to draw that area out doesn't have to be perfect but trying to make it as center as possible okay so I'm just gonna place it right here set the drill to go forward okay now it attaches it to the the lid set it to go to the reverse and there it is and that is how you make a hole for your net cup and this is a two inch net cup and it fits perfectly right there and then next we need to drill a hole for our air pump and this is a 3 8 just use whatever drill bit that would fit the air tube that you're about to use and then just pick a spot anywhere it's really up to you and just drill it on the side And that is the hole for my air tube. Doesn't matter where. Okay, so let's get our system set up. Okay, we have the system ready to go, so let's go ahead and set it up. And I have this air stone right here, and this actually comes with the uh, the solar pump that I bought. So I'll link you guys, so you want you can check it out if you want to get the same one. So we're going to put this through the hole right here and that's how we set up the the air pump tube right there to go through there and my lid it's very simple all I did was put a sheet of foil across and then poke a hole right here and the foil is basically just to prevent um, light from getting through and also it keeps the top a little cool for the plant so once we put it in like that so now we need our plant there's my plant there and I started in uh, this little system these are great because once we're ready we just take it out and put it in there that's how I started so you need a rock wool cube put it into a two inch net cup drop a seed in there 
and then wait for it to sprout and that is it that's how easy it is okay so let's go ahead and set this up so this is a five gallons and we are going to use my Aero Garden plant food and for one gallon is five milliliter so I'm gonna use this this is five milliliter and that is exactly one teaspoon so for five gallons I'm gonna use five of these so shake this up okay and normally I don't recommend putting this directly into the container but this is nice and washed and clean so I'm just gonna use five of these okay next we're going to get water right straight from my garden uh, I'm not going to pH or anything like that we're gonna keep it as simple as possible so that's just the nutrients and we're going to add water okay we have the container filled so now we just need to put our lid on then we're going to take our plant and pull it out of here and that is it and we're going to hook this up And then I'm going to show you the bubble action. You see that? So let's take a closer look. There it is. Some bubbles action going on. And I need to add a little bit more water because I want the water to touch the net cup you see it's not touching right now so we need it to touch because this is a DWC method so you can have the water all the way up to the net cup and there it is that's how we should have it okay so this plant just came out of my indoor grow tent so I'm gonna leave it in the uh, the shade for a few days until the sun uh, kind of like shine down on it and get it acclimated and then I will put it into its resting place uh, the final spot so it's gonna go under my patio for now so I'll show you where it goes okay here is where the plant is going to sit it's under my patio next to the other pepper plant that is also running hydroponic uh, solar power hydroponic so here it is and then I have the solar system sitting right there because that is where it gets sun for a few hours after the sun leaves this area so that area still gets some sun for a, a while longer so uh, once the plant is all adjusted then I'll take it into the garden and put it into the spot next to the other one so uh, we'll be back soon and check on these once uh, it get a nice and uh, acclimated okay it has been exactly 10 days now and the plant is all adjusted it grew a little bit and so I took it out of the patio and allow it to get full sun and here it is sitting right in the garden and I have this trellis here ready for it so uh, in about two to three weeks it's going to start crawling all up there and start producing cucumbers so uh, in 10 days it actually grew, grew quite a bit and here's my solar unit I'll show you the root system look at that you see in 10 days that's all it took to have all of these roots and then my solar pump right there is pumping air into the unit and everything's looking great the water level is still about the same so it won't start drinking a bunch until it grew until it grows a little bit more 
so that is what it looks like and um, I'm going to end the video here because you basically know what's gonna happen so I'll show you the end result so that you can actually see um, what it looks like when it's fully grown and producing cucumbers so here it is this is the original one that I uh, that I did a while back there is the solo pump there still working great pumping air into that unit there and you see it's growing all up in the trellis and I pick uh, cucumbers pretty often off of this plant because it's a nice producing uh, variety that puts out good amount of cucumbers so there's the one there I picked a few the other day and then they keep uh, anytime you pick uh, three to four days later you'll pick again so there and see so up up and down the trellis so you're gonna see cucumbers there like that and so as soon as you pick the one below it then it will put out more new ones like those so uh, pretty fun experiment good project to do uh, very little maintenance you don't really have to do anything it doesn't matter if it rain um, and uh, the Sun or whatever is fine as long as it's not really cold that would kill the plant so uh, when the rain is heavy it'll get into the unit and fill it up but it's no problem because we have a solar pump that constantly puts air into the reservoir so even if uh, there's no Sun for a few days it's fine uh, there's already enough oxygen in there for the plant to to survive but usually because I'm doing this outside we get Sun all the time very little rain so that is uh, what it's gonna look like for the other unit so I hope you enjoy the video um, it's very quick and fun and uh, you get cucumbers all the time once they are established and um, it is a maintenance free just basically leave it and when the water is low just get the hose pour water into there mix your nutrients in uh, usually it's best to put the nutrients in first and then spray the water into there so that it can disperse and mix well and then that's it you don't have to do anything else no pH none of that so I hope you enjoy the video if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and thank you so much for watching